everybody. So right now we're in Castleberry, Alabama. We come down here to the Castleberry Festival. So I'm going to take you guys along and show you the Festival of Castleberry, Alabama. Okay, so we'll start here. <laughs> yeah, we got all of our fans. Somebody's made a little bowl. Microwave bowl thing. You put your bowl in there. So you put it in the microwave, you don't have to worry about the... Um, your finger's getting burnt. How do I know? This goes all the way around, so we're gonna walk to each little booth, and hopefully the rain holds out because the weather will look at fixing to get nasty. Awesome. People's got homemade baskets and homemade dolls. Oh, little Easter eggs. Those are cute. Bird houses. Candles. Milk. Scenties. They're little turtles. This place has different homemade signs and reefs. Painted signs. This place has got like scents and stuff, all different uh, bath and body works. Purses. Hi! They have strawberry shortcake beefsteak drinks. They have autographs, like Alabama football autographs. And you keep walking, they have food. And Are you a voter? No, I'm sorry. Huh? Yes. You a voter? Uh -huh. Good, how are you? The Alabama shirt. It's not a very big festival here, but they have a lot of stuff and people have been really, really friendly. We got to meet Sherman, Sherman from the Alabama football team, so that was cool. Everything we make for around that for the ministry, we're not going to put our name on. It's been a journey on so this is they're doing they're doing gospel music and up here is all the food. Okay, okay, so we found this place in Bruton called Marks. So we're gonna uh, stop here and eat. They have got chicken sandwiches, hamburgers, fried pickles, grilled cheese, different kinds of food. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna check them out. Let's see what kind of groceries they have. So it's a little restaurant. They got little ice cream cones. They got refills. They have. It's an older restaurant. This is more of like an old timey little restaurant. So we'll see how the food's gonna go. Okay, so I got the grilled chicken salad. Looks like. And Red got the bacon chicken club sandwich. And he got some onion rings and fries. Oh, let's see. Oh, the grill. oh, it's got bell peppers. You don't see green salad with bell peppers, so that looks good. Mm. It's good. I mean, a grilled chicken salad is a grilled chicken salad. <laughs> I see how Red's Club's down for doing. Club. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't raise it up. Real chicken. I don't want to Okay, so we ate at Mark's. The food was really, really good. Highly recommend Mark's. Um, it's kind of like a old style restaurant, but the food is great and the people were very, very friendly. So if you ever in Bruton, stop on by Mark's and get you a little something to eat. Okay, so on the way home from Castleberry, Alabama, we stopped in Baker. They're having an arts festival here in Baker. So I thought we would stop and check and see what kind of festival they've got going on. 
the different kinds of books and about Native Americans here, woodwork. So this one has this one has all different kinds of. Hi. Hi. This one has all different kinds of flower stuff. Different kinds of flowers. <laughs> all different kinds of beautiful flowers. This one they used to have like some blacksmithing. Tribe life they can make make a mighty hamster sword. Black this is the blacksmithing stuff. Just your phone will pick it out. It's a sliding box bellows. So that's really those weren't common in this area. They're most they were most common in the Orient specifically Japan. And you would, if you only have a little bit of leather and a little bit of anything. They try to recruit red again at OCI. <laughs> they got homemade uh, pork rinds. They got well, this is like a park also. You can tour like the houses and everything. I might look and see if we can go in some of those houses and see what they got. Um, I love doing little festivals like this. There, you never know what you're gonna find. Shirts, woodwork. That one over there is all like homemade wind chimes. This one is woodwork, jewelry, wire wraps. Oh, they're made out of wire. Oh, that's cool. No stones on them with wire. My quilt work. It's a tool house. They have a place to eat. I think we can toy houses, so I'm gonna look and see. That was a jewelry place. They have all different kinds of songs. Oh, I love these mermaids they have. Oh, that was pretty. So this one is an old post office. Let's go check out this old. Yeah, this is an old post office. We're gonna check out the old post office. It has, they have some of them open and some of them not open. But well, let's go in here and check it out. This was built in the 1900s. Oh wow! Look at this. I think it's U.S. mail. Got some old stamps. Old stamp. Letter counseling machine. This is where you got all your mail at. Was up here. My mail press. Like, oh, it's a wager. Wager mail. Your little boxes. I'm not 
sure what that is. It's got a corn husk in it. Oh, it's a broom. They made a broom out of it. Okay. Old wood stove. And I've been in like three or four old post offices and there's always a chess thing, always a chess board. But this one's kind of neat. That's made out of bottle caps. Very cool. Well, that's the post office. And this one is what is this? A tools. It says Jackson Veneer Mill Company Tool Shed and Time Clock, Lower Hill, Florida, 1946. An old saw blade. It's an old time clock. You punch the time clock. That's a little barn, an old barn. And this is some kind of house. I'm gonna walk up here and check it out. Let's see. Oh, this is neat. Oh, that's an old bed. Look how old that bed is. The um, pillowcases are flower sacks. It's a handmade quilt. It's like a one bedroom little. It's got a dining like table. And then old oil lamps, fireplaces. I guess this is a family that lived here. build their warm their food up their, their food make cornbread cast iron an old wash pot where they wash up and up there is a loft they slept up there and it's got a ladder and they go up there and slept I guess that would be for the kids and you come around here it's an old dresser it's got an old corn a corn husk doll on it an old jewelry box. Looks like a jewelry box. Yeah, a little handkerchief box. With some old bonnets that the girls wore. And another one of them old quilts. Another quilt. And you come out here and here's the porch. And then there's some more. Oh, here's like an old water thing. I had like a... So when you come down here and they have uh, other stuff, like different kinds of rocks and different rocks and bones and handmade knives. Oh, that's cool. So you come on in here and there's another little house. Oh wow, it's got like an old chair and it says this floor through a sage brush broom was originally used in a slug cabin. The items were made by uh, Bill Palmer and donated old chairs. It's a handmade, let's see, for handmade mallet make shingles. Okay. It's like an old newspaper thing or like holds old newspapers and Fred and Neil point. Fireplace, old fiddle. So washed really washed it. Here's an old um baby cradle. 
fish basin, an old barrel, and then there's another one you come across, and this one's set up for a kitchen. This looks like an old like refrigerator. Yep, it's an old refrigerator. Look at that. Some cables. And then they have these old wood burners. An old kitchen set up and then of course this old stove. sure what this is so if anybody knows drop me a hint in the comment section <laughs> it's interesting looking you come out there here's the porch <laughs> all right so that was the Baker art show so just thought we'd share that with you guys. I wanted, I wanted to show you something. There's a bank. Well, there's a sorry, home of country music legend William Lee Golden, uh, the Oak Ridge Boys, Hank Lachlan. So we're right outside of Bruton, Alabama. So I thought I'd share that with you. That was pretty neat. I didn't know that Hank Lachlan was from Bruton, Alabama. And it's right outside this little park. So they have little, uh, like little events and stuff out here. So, so anyway, we went to the strawberry festival and everything today. We had a really good time doing all that. Um, it wasn't very big, but the people in Castaway were really, really nice. We had a we had a great time. We got to meet Sherman Williams of foot of um, Alabama football team and the Cowboys. So that was really cool. Red enjoyed that. Um, then we seen the home of uh, Frank uh, of Hank Lockwood. So that was really nice. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is a short video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I really do appreciate everybody that's watching my videos. And I hope everybody has a safe and wonderful Easter.